Can you have too much damping factor? This comes from Magnus in Oslo, Norway. By the way, Magnus, I hate to I hate to be the bearer of bad news here, but you know, I'm writing a new book. Uh, it's actually a trilogy. And the uh, main character, one of the main characters in it, who's going to turn out not to be such a great guy, is named Magnus. <laughs> Nothing personal, okay? <laughs> anyway, Magnus writes and he says, Hey, Paul, are, are there any issues with having too much damping factor in an amplifier? I can see that your reference mono power amplifiers have around 350 as far as a damping factor. And a Norwegian brand called Hegel, of course, Hegel's very famous, have um, a, a, a model that takes speaking control uh, to a high damping factor. Um, their top of the line integrated has more than 4,000 damping factor. So my question is, are there any drawbacks with having that much damping factor? Or is it just an advantage. Well, let's, let's start off by saying what, what is damping factor? So damping factor is a means, a measurement of, of how well a amplifier can control a loudspeaker. So loudspeakers are motors. There's something, I thought I heard somebody. Huh. Loudspeakers are motors. And as, as such, they have inductors and they uh, kick back when charged. So if I, if, and so an inductor is a coil of wire, right? And if I, if I put energy into a coil of wire and then I release that energy, that coil will now release energy back into the system and the amplifier, which is putting out energy, isn't real appreciative of accepting energy. So it needs to basically ignore that returned energy. It needs to control the dips and impedances and all the, I mean, speakers are complex loads. They're not simple devices. So when you have a loudspeaker, it's important that you have high enough damping factor, the higher the better, oops, ah. the higher the better. Um, everything's after me, the people are coming around here, who knows. Um, and so those numbers as they go up just determine how much control. So one of the questions is, how much control do you need, right? Well, the fact is about 100. If you have anything around 100 or higher, you're in great shape. There's very few, if any, speakers that are going to give any gruff or any grief to an amplifier with a damping factor of 100 or greater. Now, the Hegel, as you're mentioning, 4,000, that's just nuts, okay? Is there any advantage to it? Nope. Anything over about 100, as I said, is going to control a speaker just fine. So then the question comes down to, is there a disadvantage to it? On the surface, no. There's really no disadvantage from between 100 and 4,000. Where we might get into difficulty is how we got there. How did we get to a 4,000 damping factor? And I, I don't know the answer to that. And I know Hegel's are, are well respected. I have a lot of respect for them and their designers. But one way that you can increase the damping factor is by increasing the feedback in the amplifier. The greater the amount of feedback an amplifier has, a negative feedback, the lower the output impedance of that amplifier and the higher the damping factor. Now, I've talked a great deal in the past about the dangers of too much feedback. It can often sound really badly if you don't do it right. If you don't have control of the open loop response of the amplifier and then close it down. And in order to get you know, scads of, of feedback, well, it almost has to be unstable in the open loop state so that you have enough that you can close it down and make it work. So um, I, I don't know what they did. There's, a, you know, there are some tricky folks out there that could possibly have done that without a great deal of feedback, without causing, you know, sonic problems. But that's the danger is what did you have to do? What did you have to sacrifice? What did you do in the design to get that damping factor? And did that have an impact on the sound quality? So that's where I would be looking. But on its own, no.
no problem whatsoever. You know, the more, the merrier. Okay, thanks a lot, Magnus, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay.